Good morning, Knights. I'm Jasmine Garcia. And I'm Carly Arsenal. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Royal Report, Report News. News. down the stairs at school? No, I haven't. Well, at least not at school. Okay, well let's see how to properly use the stairs. Every day we use the stairs, but it's hard to go up and down when people are in the way. That's true, Jessica, so we should show all the knights how to use the stairs the right way. Rule number one, make sure your right side is closest to the railing, whether you're going up or down. Rule number two, don't roughhouse on the stairs. It can be dangerous for all around you. Rule number three, do not under any circumstances stop on the stairs. Rule number four, don't push people on the stairs. Students can get hurt badly. I'm Sid. I'm Abby. And I'm Jessica. We, we hope, hope you have, have a fantabulous day. Now on to a more serious note. Let's learn how to react when there's an active shooter on campus. Can you summarize some of the training that teachers and staff received last year? The staff, we went through a six-hour training last year in, um, here on campus in which we were able to go through the entire Alice process with alert, lockdown, inform, counter, and evacuate. What do you think is the best weapon for students to defend themselves with? I think the best weapon that a student could have to counter, um, I definitely told my students to grab their hydro flask because those are heavy and if you've ever dropped one, you know the sound that it makes. So if that um, could you know, potentially stop um, an intruder in the classroom, I would recommend those. Um, well, I know other teachers have talked about using hydro flasks or water bottles, um, but if they don't have access to those, any book, any binder, uh, textbooks are good. Do you feel that the implemented changes will help to better protect our students and staff? So I definitely think Alice Training has better equipped our students and our staff on campus to protect everyone in the event of an actual emergency. I think it is going to give us a lot greater success in terms of uh, keeping students safe and stuff. Before when we would just hunker down and sit in a corner, if someone gets in the room, there's we're in a corner, we're basically sitting targets. Remember to stay safe nights. Hey Carly, do you know what door decorating is? Of course, we do it every year at nighttime. Well, for those of you who are new, here's a short recap. One door, one hour, one classroom. To make the coolest door in LHHS. Just not this one. Yesterday, all of you decorated your nighttime door to support our football game in the Golden Shovel. All of you only had one hour to get as creative as you can get. The class winner of the competition will receive a big prize. And, if you didn't know, will be announced by the end of this video. While well, we looked at the footage and to see for yourself. one class winner and the winner goes to what? What? Uh, Oh you'll find out the pep assembly Hey Jasmine do you want to go homecoming with me? Uh sorry I have to work go to Southside Subway Oof well let's talk about homecoming Hey, do we have a spot for homecoming yet? No, I don't think we do. Do we, Jacob? Uh, I thought you did that. Well, what are you two still doing here? The dance is almost here.
This is amazing. I don't know how people would actually get up here. Oxygen level low. Malfunctioning. Okay. I think this is the place. But why do I look like a yeehaw? I don't know. Hey, what's that over there? I hope you aren't too sad about my rejection. It's okay. Okay. Well, that's all we have for you today, Knights. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Carly. Keep spreading kindness. And remember, you are loved.